Hey everybody, this is Jeremiah Craig. You know, I've been doing a lot of traveling here this month, but I did get the chance to visit the family for Easter dinner. So it, it was sort of in between the two places where I needed to go, and it was the perfect opportunity to spend time with everybody and visit everybody because I haven't seen them in a really long time, at least everybody together. So it was great. Not since Christmas, I don't think. And as family gatherings usually go, we like to tell stories of our, our favorite moments together and, and sort of relive some of the best times of our life through the stories. And one story that was told that I forgot about was one that, that I, I think about every so often, but I sort of just brush it away uh, because it was just fun and it's just something that doesn't seem like that big of a deal, but it was made into a big deal on Easter because my mom and Sarah were telling this story. We all would go to Sarah and JY's cabin in the Adirondacks. I was probably 14 to 16 years old. It was a great spot. It was out in the woods. There was a lake down the hill. It was some of the best times of my life and some of the best memories, which is why we like to tell the story. So the story is that when we got to camp, I noticed that there was a chipmunk living in a hole underneath a bird feeder so the chipmunk would pretty much just eat everything that fell out of that bird feeder that either fell out naturally or that the birds dropped they were like sunflower seeds or, or, or random other bird seeds so I looked at this chipmunk and I and I saw what it did and then I would sort of walk around unpack my stuff I walked into the garage and I saw this butterfly net and then I told my parents and Sarah and JY that I was going to catch that chipmunk with the butterfly net. Now, I grew up hunting, so I was well practiced in the small movements that it takes to hunt small game, but I would always hunt with a bow or a 22 rifle. So it takes a lot more to try to get as close to a small animal to catch it with a butterfly net. And everybody thought that I wasn't gonna be able to do it. They said, okay, you try, we're gonna go do stuff. And they would watch me on the porch for a little bit with some beers while I was trying to sneak up on this chip, chipmunk and, and catch it with the butterfly net. I missed it several times I think it was five or six times and then they they would laugh or whatever and then everybody got bored of watching me fail and went inside and I was still going for it I missed it a few more times then finally I brought that butterfly net down I was close enough to it and BAM I got it I got it, and that little chipmunk is doing this in the butterfly net, and I, sa I said, I got it, I got it, and people came out from inside, and they're like, yeah, right, you did not get a chipmunk, you, you, you didn't, it's not possible, uh, and they saw the net bouncing with that chipmunk inside, <laughs> I had no idea what to do with it either, uh, I just said, what do I do with it now? let it go I guess so I was just like okay I accomplished what I set out to do it, it had been caught there doesn't need to be anything else to happen to it so all right I'll let it go so I caught the chipmunk with the butterfly net in the Adirondacks that day and I don't usually think very much of that story because it's just 
one of the small things that I did growing up to entertain myself to see if I could do it. But my mom yesterday at Easter was like, and he's doing the same stuff. We'll tell him that he probably can't do it or he would have to be really lucky and he still goes and does it. And she said, you know, when you, when I did the tour with my college band, I told everybody that I was gonna take my band on a five state tour. And they said, yeah, go for it. Not really believing that it was gonna happen and then it did. So I just do stuff and I didn't really think about when it all started. I haven't never really thought about why I do these things. I like to challenge myself though and I never really realized the origin. But yesterday I started thinking about why what the origin is for my for my challenging myself for for seeing if I can just do something for the sake of it and then also applying it to something that I'm interested in. So I don't know if that's the first time, I don't think that's the first time that I just said something and then went to go do it even though people really didn't think that it could be done. But it is an early account of how I think and how I approach things now. And that story helped me connect that because again, that's not a story that I usually think about catching the chipmunk with a butterfly net. But I'm still doing it today. It's why I am continuing to pursue a career in music. Every year I get closer and closer. Every year I make a little bit more money. Sure, I've had to change my strategy and that chipmunk has gotten away from me a few times and I've had to start over but I am getting closer and closer and I know that I'm going to be bringing that butterfly net over the top of that chipmunk real soon you can bet your ass I don't care what you say it's gonna happen one way or another or else if it doesn't, then I'll probably be dead. So I just wanted to share that story of the time that I caught a chipmunk with a butterfly net because I'm still trying to catch chipmunks with butterfly nets to this day. Do you have any stories like that? Let me know. Give me a call. It's all good. Put it in the comments. I want to hear your story. Thank you so much for listening today. Thank you so much for watching today. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe if you have not yet. And I will catch you guys around. Peace, everybody.